Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is Monday, September 18th, 2023. I'm going to give a shout out to somebody that bought me several cups of coffee. Five, I think. Boy, I definitely needed it yesterday. Thank you so much. Last night there at Lake Tahoe, there was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake. Yeah, um, remember back in 2021, I believe it was, where there was a rash, a swarm of earthquakes after they had a magnitude 4.2? Google Earth did an update a while back on my uh, computer, and I no longer have drawn out here areas where there was huge landslides in the past because of earthquakes. So we do have the threat of large earthquakes creating tsunamis, that earthquake, uh, I'm not sure how long ago it was. It was a long time ago. The tsunami, um, the waters went all the way over here by Fallen Lake. And you think about now how we got all these homes and businesses all around the lake. Those of you that have followed me for a while will remember that and I'll have to redraw it out. It was a shallow earthquake, only about 1.2 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. 117 people sent in reports to USGS. And this was a strike-slip earthquake right there. Let me bring it down. Looks like the fault line moved a little bit towards the northwest, rising up. The earthquake was felt over a large area. Here you can see Sacramento Valley area and the San Francisco Bay area. Um, that was intensity level two there. Over here, let's see, um, Pollock Pines, intensity level four. Uh, Glenbrook, intensity level four. Mm, let's see, Incline Village. That's closer to where the earthquake occurred. Um, for some reason, they said it was an intensity level 2. Interesting. So intensity level 2 would have been where people said it felt like, yeah, a magnitude 2. But intensity level 4, which most of the reports, and that's what USGS decided, um, said it felt like maybe a 3 to a 3.5, which means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling, automobiles rocked noticeably. So I have to wonder if USGS actually has the location of this earthquake correct. Because the area, uh, Tahoe Vista is where they said it occurred. They only gave it an intensity level 3. But to the um, southwest, Glenbrook, intensity level 4. And Pollock Pines, intensity level 4. Where up where the earthquake occurred, intensity level 2, that just does not make sense. Even accounting for, um, you know, the types of soil and rock in those locations. We got two here for Pollock Pines. And then two from Glenbrook. USGS has four aftershocks. And the most recent was a, a magnitude 1.6. Yeah, zero, zero, right at sea level, um, a 1.4, yeah, dollar point, let's see, another 1.4, let's see, uh, Carnelian Bay, a 1.0, and there's the location, you can see we probably got, um, a fault line that goes through here. Earthquakes often trigger earthquakes along different fault lines. Yeah, pressure was applied down here by the southwest, and you can see how the fault line did move going slightly west. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Don't be shy.